All right, guys, so Garrett is officially returning to live stream poker. The other day, Garrett announced that he was finally going to be playing a few live streams in the next couple of weeks. As of right now, Garrett is only scheduled to play on two streams that we know of, but he did say that he might start wanting to play more live streams. His first game back is going to be on December 13th at the Tropicana. And I didn't see a full list of players for this game, but one person we do know is going to be at this game is Eric Person. Poker Org. Everyone knows I love being up here in the Pacific Northwest. So it takes a big game for me to stream, for me to fly back down to Vegas. Really, I can't think of something much bigger than the G-Man coming back, me battling one more time with him, and Patrick Antonius mixing it up. There's going to be some fireworks. You know, it's been 15 months since I've seen the G-Man across the table for myself. And uh, I'm looking forward to playing with him. I missed him. And I'm looking forward to actually crushing his soul. So tune in Wednesday. Let's see what fucking happens. Let's go. The buy-in for this game is set at 100000 And the only other player that's been announced is Patrick Antonius. So honestly, right now, I'm not even really sure how many players there's going to be at the game. And surprisingly, there's actually even less information about the game on Friday. We do know that this game is going to start at 4.30 and that it's being hosted by WPT. Again, I didn't see a list of players for this game, but apparently it's going to be a 300-600 game. So Garrett's actually going to be playing some pretty big games when he comes back. One thing I did notice though is that up until about three weeks ago, WPT hadn't posted any live streams for over two years. But it does look like they've been posting a bit more lately, so I feel like there's a good chance that we're going to start seeing a lot more streams from them soon. As far as Garrett though, we still don't know how often we're actually going to be seeing him on the stream. In this interview with Poker.org, Garrett says, I make no promises on how frequently I'll play after these initial games, but I will admit that I'm awfully excited about the first couple. I was a little surprised because I haven't actually seen any promotion for these live streams. WPT and Poker.org posted like one tweet about it and then they just kind of left it there. But either way, I'm definitely going to be watching both of these streams. Also, as far as the Jack Forehand, personally, at this point, I almost don't really care that much anymore. I know that there was a lot of money involved, but I feel like at a certain point, everyone kind of just has to move on. Garrett was one of the first players who actually got me into watching live streams because I actually enjoyed watching his playstyle. And it's also the reason I enjoy watching people like Keating or Nick Airball on stream. I feel like people enjoy watching live streams because they want to see which playstyle is the best. To me, personally, watching a good poker game is kind of like watching the UFC event, which might sound crazy to a lot of people, but it's always been insane for me to watch people bet hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars on a hand that only took two minutes. I feel like I've been seeing a lot more hate for Garrett lately than usual, but I'm pretty sure that most of you guys are still going to watch the streams anyway. I know I'm probably going to be watching both of them live. So I'm going to do my best to keep you guys updated as much as possible. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.